On some college campuses, we got folks raising money and blood and clothes and sending it to the communists. And I can tell you when some of you young people are committed totally between life and death, you're not going to think too kindly against some fella back with a beard raising some money to give the communists to help take your life. I know what I would have felt when I was fighting the Japanese and the Axis powers. But we have the elite cult and the intellectual incompetence who say, but their right of dissent, their right of free speech. Well, free speech is not an unlimited right. You don't have the right, according to the court, to holler fire in a crowded theater. There are limitations on every right, coupled with responsibility. And I say to you this, as I said to a Boston Harvard professor who moderated a program I was on in Boston when he asked me about the Vietnam War. And I said, remember, you called it a war because that's what it is. Because legalistically, it hadn't been declared, it's still a war. And there's just as much danger in firepower aimed at our servicemen in an undeclared war as it is a declared war. And I said what I said about the professors and the students. And he spoke up and said, but governor, what about the right of dissent? What about freedom of speech? What about the Constitution? And I pulled the Constitution out and said, you read what it says about treason. It says give an overt aid and comfort to the enemy. It's very plain. And I said, if you can't distinguish at Harvard between honest dissent and overt acts of treason, then you ought to come on down to Alabama and we'll teach you some law down there. Because y'all don't know some of it at Harvard.